right at the end for Suki this morning. Oh, God. It arrives suddenly. I, I heard her get out of her kennel. Or a clock, maybe. And she left the bedroom, which is not unusual. She liked to get up and go out and, and lay on the love seat. I got up half an hour ago, 4.30, got about brushing my teeth making coffee, and then it was time to let her out to do her morning pee, and I, okay, let's go. She could not get up off the love seat. She could not move her back legs to get up. Holy shit. I've, I've had this happen before and I've heard about it from other people. Suddenly, they are unable to get up. Well, I finally helped her off the love seat and she was just barely able to, to walk. So we got to the door here and I picked her up, carried her out, set her down. She was just barely able to to walk over to the grassy area. She sort of squatted, but she couldn't really squat. I don't know if she peed or not. And she walked a little farther down the driveway and just stood. I, know, I finally walked a little way down and coaxed her over to me. And then I picked her up and carried her over to here. Just let her down. And then I came around up here and carried her into the house and onto the love seat where she is now. Trembling. God, how fast that happens. I just gave her a brushing again yesterday up here on the on the deck. She was fine. We had been down at Outer Pond. I don't know how she got up on the love seat this morning, but these things they happen just like that. And if a dog can't get up and walk, that's it. Oh, Christ. What am I going to do without her? I'll let you know. Hello, sweetie. Good morning, sweetheart. Oh, my God. We had a wonderful... <clears throat> last night when I took her out to pee. The last few weeks I've been... Crouching down, she has been coming over to me and burying her head in my crotch, and I just scratch and do her ears and, and rub her back. Sort of a new thing for her, like she's let me be affectionate with her in a way that, wow, her whole life that she's not been interested in or shaking me off. I don't have time for that. And last night, it was supreme. We loved each other up for 10 minutes. And then I got up and she walked between my legs, scratched her back and rubbed her like nothing we've ever had before. And I thought, wow, this is a new beginning for us. She's finally letting me be affectionate with her in a way that I've always yearned for. And now she's gonna be gone. 
Oh, uh, dogs know things. They know things. I'm looking for a spot to bury her. I can't think. Maybe in here. Oh God, I want to throw up. Oh, how fast it comes. I knew it was gonna be soon. I don't know why I knew that. You just know her end was coming. She's that age. I would really like to bury her along Suki Street, the game trail that she loved to run up, trying to coax me to go up with her. I think digging is gonna be really hard up anywhere. All the roots, shit. Or do I just have her cremated? You want some food? Okay. Come. Okay. She can't get up. Oh my God. Put food in her dish and bring it to her. <clears throat> if there was ever a, a coaxing moment to get her off the love seat, this would this was it. I've decided I, I can't bury her. I can't have her dead in the back of the car while I dig a hole. I think that I, I, I don't think I can do that. This is breaking my heart. I don't know what to do. I can't. I can't leave her, take her out and lock her in the car, close the windows, I can't, I gotta be near her. Oh my God, this is absolute horror. She doesn't understand what's happening. That's the only thing I can think of. She is, oh, maybe she's in horrible pain, I don't know. Thought about taking the 22 rifle out, carrying her out and shooting her in the head. I can't do that, I cannot do that. I don't know how people can do that with their dogs. Well, they don't have this kind of relationship. 
they don't have my dog and my relationship over 11 and a half years. This is it. made phone calls to my kids, all three of them, and my brother-in-law Chuck, hoping that I can hear from one of them to just talk to. Bet's office opens at 7. Thank God for that. She's alert. Everything from the the middle of her body forward is functioning, but everything from the halfway down and back is not. She doesn't know what's happening. All I can do is hold her. I've heard from other people that they've gone through this very same thing. Just overnight, something goes totally wrong that she's had developing for weeks months. Anaplasmosis that she was diagnosed with in early May treated her for that. Sweet girl. Why isn't anybody calling me back? She is so, so alert. Nothing wrong with her head and her energy of enthusiasm for life. <laughs> Well, it's, <clears throat> it's, the vet hospital's not answering yet. At least Suki's laying quietly now. God damn it, open, be open, open, open. They're supposed to open at seven on Saturdays. What if for some reason they're not able to open until eight or at all, ever? I got their message when I called earlier. If this is an emergency, Call the animal hospital in Fargo, North Dakota. The phone number is, or call Duluth. Their phone number is, Jesus Christ, assholes. 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. today. I am not going to call Red River Animal Emergency Hospital for Christ's sake. Well, I was just outside. It's, uh... I'm waiting for the vet's office to open now at 8. I was outside having coffee on the deck, and I she was whining, whining, whining. And I heard uh, some noise in here, came racing in, and she was just trundling her way over to her mat. Change of scenery needed, I guess. A few minutes ago, I, I realized she was panting on the love seat, and I thought, oh, she needs water. Filled her bowl and brought it over, and she lap, 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 lap. Looked around for a few seconds and more lap, 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 lap. <clears throat> Isn't it perverse how our minds think? I was just looking at the love seat and all the fur on there thinking, well, later today I'll be able to come home and vacuum that off, take it off and have my love seat back. I don't want my love seat back. I want her on it, healthy and hale. Laying out full, sleeping hard, happy, healthy, trying the bed again, bastards. It's style, inept and incompetent, unprofessional. When we first moved here in 1966, it's one of the first phrases my mother came up with after living in Minneapolis all of her life and having access to competent professional behavior from businesses, from people. One of the first things she noticed, lackadaisical way of doing things. Let's try the third time after eight o'clock. What the f are we supposed to do on a Saturday when we have a pet emergency? Okay, so let's try Animal Care Clinic. They open at 8 o'clock also. 
How the hell did my keypad? No, I've got to try my vet again. Jesus Christ. How do they do business? I'm looking at the Google listing for veterinarians. Veterinary hospital. Hours. Open. They are open. Closes at 4 p.m. How can they not answer the phone? They don't care. Thank you. Suki. S-U-K-I. She's a mix. Yeah. Okay. I know where you're at. 9.30. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm. I've got an appointment with Animal Care Clinic for 9.30 this morning. I went and found this other place. Um, if you would be willing to help me with this, um, I'm going to have them do some blood work first. Suki has been quietly laying on her mat for the last half hour at least. I don't know what that means. I, I can't infer anything from that. It's just the physical infrastructure of that damn rear end, those hips just gave out, I guess. But thankfully, this vet is willing to do some blood work on her before we make the ultimate permanent decision of euthanizing her. Christ, I can't imagine. Your copy of blood work. Is she able to walk? Yes. Oh yep. my God. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> She's back there by the x ray table. Um, there's your exam form. Here's those meds that the doctor was talking to you about. So it's one tablet once daily. And it's a, it's a chewable. It's a little bit big, but it's a chewable. So it should just twist off for you. I put it on upside down. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. For 30 days. Yes. Let me do this again forever. It's possible that she'll need it for a while, yep, for or ever, possibly. Um, but it's a maintenance thing. It's not just a healer like the doctor cycling. It's, yep. It's, it's, yep. Okay. Yep. Are they just still monitoring him? Where's <laughs> Suki? Suki. Where's sweetie? She's slow going, but she's up and Oh my gosh. Look at that. Good day. Oh my gosh. She's not going anywhere yet. Oh. Can I walk her out with you? Thank you, yes. Did you get your mind? Come on, Suki. Oh, Come on. Good job. Come on. Yeah. I wasn't ready to leave you yet. Oh. I'm glad you checked her out. I'll help her up. meds at all so get some of those later once you get her home okay will, and then i will <laughs> find him to come talk to you a little bit more okay oh sweetie yeah sweetie oh sweetie well folks what a turnaround in six hours I've given her her first pill. She's resting comfortably, as they say. I don't know how comfortable she is. She's got to be okay. So it's arthritis. She's got some kidney stones, apparently. Come on. Now I feel like a real ass. I was up in the loft working on the computer 20 minutes ago and she started to whine. Whoa, no, don't start that again. I can't take that. Ooh. So I came right down. She was laying on the love seat where she's been since we got home. 
She hasn't had a bowel movement today for obvious reasons. I thought, well, I need to get her out there. I tried coaxing her down from the love seat, and that wasn't going to happen. But finally, after 10 or 15 minutes, I came over and lifted her rear end down, and then her front end down, and she just collapsed right there on the floor, on the slippery floor that has no traction, should she want to arise, which it looks like she wants to do. So I went out and I got her pad out of the car, brought it in and laid it here where it's been for months, patted it, no response from her. And now here she lays on the floor and I've tried coaxing her. That's a girl. Let's see if I can help her up. This is a freaking nightmare. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Sweetheart, should we keep going? You want to go in your kennel? Can she turn around? No, she can't turn around. That's a girl. Good girl, sweetie. There she is. Okay. Thank God. She got up by herself. She heard me get the food out. Get it in her dish. Oh, thank God. And now she's made her way over to the door. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. She's on her own now. I'm sure she's got a to pee and poo. Oh, good girl. 12 hours ago, I never would have believed I'd be seeing this right now. Look at her walking just like fine. She's headed for the woods. I don't know how much to attribute to the new medication, but this is miraculous that she is 12 hours later as improved as she is. Oh my gosh.